Hey everyone, it's Mike Sam. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create CentOS 7 minimal bootable USB flash drive. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial is outlined here. First, the requirement is that you need a Unix terminal or something like Sigwin. I'm using a Windows machine, and on Windows we have something called Sigwin, which is a similar Unix terminal to terminals that are Macs and Linux. For those Linux and Mac users, you don't need a terminal because it's already integrated on your operating system. Now, Windows users, Sigwin is available here on www.sigwin.com. You can visit that website, get that Linux feeling on Windows. Once you download and set it up, I won't go over it. You can go to this. I'll leave a link in the description to get a Unix terminal on Windows. I already have it installed, so we'll drop right into the CentOS part. Now, in these steps, I'm going to download Sigwin, install it. I've already done that. We're going to run Sigwin as administrator and then go through these following steps. You can pause this video right here if you just want to go right into it. This is kind of a summary of what we're going to do, and I'll leave the table of contents in the description as well. So, we will follow those steps but not in that exact order it's kind of just that little notepad thing is just a list of most of what we need to do or all of what we need to do but not in any particular order so i am first going to go to the centos website which is centos.org download go to minimal iso click on it and now we can select any of these links to download the minimal iso now, before we do this, I, I would recommend you to create a folder where you would keep all these things. So I'll go to my desktop and create a quick folder called CentOS. Well, let's do lowercase to make it easier for ourselves. CentOS-minimal, like so. This is so that we are very organized and don't lose this file. So the latest version currently is CentOS Minimal-1511. So I'll just click on the first link, go to my desktop, and there's a folder, CentOS Minimal-Minimal. I'll double click it and then save. Now it's a 600 megabyte file, it will finish shortly. First thing is, if you have Sigwin or your Unix terminal ready, on Windows, we have to run as administrator and this is as a precaution because maybe a user or the command that we will use will require this exact administrator role. So you have to right click and run as administrator. Important step. So we hit yes on here and we have SIGWIN open. Now SIGWIN will be over here and what we're going to do next is we're going to change directory to that folder. We're going to go to the location of the download that of the download of CentOS 7 Minimal. So to do that on the Unix terminal, if you're not familiar, I'll go over it. If you are familiar of how to get to the folder, then you can skip right ahead. So what we want to do is CD capital C colon, like so, to go into our C drive. That's our main drive, typically. And it brings us to SIG drive slash C. That's what Sigwin calls it. Now, if we LS, we list all the contents in our C drive. So you can see some familiar things like program files and users. We want to go over here. CD just stands for change directory. And we just keep on using CD. And then we type in cap users exactly as it is. And we go to the next place. We do LS again. Now you go to your username. My username is here. And so I'll just type in my name and we keep on going down. So next part is desktop. You can always type LS to list all the contents of your directory and you can use tab to autocomplete. So I just went to my desktop just to zoom in to show you. And then lastly, I named that folder CentOS-minimal which looks like this and then I hit enter now the download is 30 seconds away from being done so we'll we'll wait until it's done 
if I do ls, it says there's an unconfirmed download. That just means that it is in the process of downloading. Now, what we can do right now is we can do step five, format your USB flash drive. So grab a USB flash drive. I'm gonna grab one of my USB flash drives right now. And I'm gonna put it into my computer on my laptop. All right, now it's in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to format this flash drive because we need this flash drive to, to be empty. You can do some fancy stuff and partition, but for me, this isn't very important. I'm going to format it completely. I just right clicked and format. You can leave all of these by default. FAT32 is fine. Um, preferably don't do file system NTFS because I think if you do NTFS, it won't work. So I think most USB flash drives, well, if you're using an external hard drive, I would recommend you to use the FAT32 file system. Uh, there is XFAT, but FAT32 is really uh, what we need for an operating system like CentOS. CentOS. So you can use the default allocation unit size, and you can name it whatever you want. So I'll just call this CentOS Minimal. Okay, I'll just call it CentOS-mini. And then make sure you have quick format check. You start, everything will be deleted. So I always say back up anything that you think you may need later on before doing this step. And afterwards, once you are fine with deleting everything on the USB flash drive, you hit OK. Now my download is also done. So if we go to SigWin and type in LS again, we can see the files right there. All right, good news. Now the next step is we have to run a certain command. Let's see. So if we do terminal command, this is the terminal command ls slash. Well, we we don't actually do this. Well, yeah, yeah, we 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 do, but it's kind of like this. So we do ls dev sd. Now once we get this set up, now we want to tab twice. And then we see at the very end, it's sdb1. Uh, what I write over here is that see what sd is at the end because these represent kind of USB devices or external devices plugged into your computer. So the last device that you should have used USB to plug in to your computer was SDB, sdb1. But to double check, let's just eject our USB flash drive. I'm going to take it out right now. All right, USB flash drive is out. Now, if I tab, SDB disappears. And I'll put back my USB flash drive inside my computer. Just close this out. And then double tab again. A little note over there. It's not just one tab, it's two tabs. And then we see that SDB returns, SDB1. SDB. So we know that this represents our USB flash drive that we just plugged in. So once we are 100% sure that that's our USB flash drive, we can just use a simple command to mount that CentOS 7 minimal to our USB flash drive. So here's the command. I have it over here. It's using an old version of CentOS in this command that I have, but we can just Take the essential. DD is a command that we can use to mount the USB. IF is the location of our ISO. And then CentOS, you can just press tab to autocomplete, which is what I just did. Then I press space. OF is what we will be mounting to. And the location is slash dev slash SDB. Then we space again. And BS is for block size, and we'll use 8 megabytes. I believe it stands for 8 megabytes. Um, so this is the complete command. I just did DD space IF equals. Remember these equal signs. And then I press tab to autocomplete for a full CentOS ISO name, OF. The location is SDB, like so, because that's the last device and our USB flash drive is definitely that device. And BS equals 8M, which is a good 
number for writing speeds. It's kind of how many blocks are we writing um, every interval. So that's it. We hit enter and we will wait until the CentOS minimal is mounted on our USB flash drive. So in the meanwhile, I'll just stop the video and skip ahead once it's ready. Okay, it just finished. And I know it finished because it made a little noise. And it also says all these bytes copied, records in, records out. It only took about four minutes or five minutes at max. But for your laptop or computer, it might take longer depending on how fast your computer is. I'm using this quad core laptop right now, so you might be faster or slower. Just wait, and if it's too long, like a ridiculous amount of time, then something went wrong. Now, before I let you go, I have a blog post on my blog, tech blog, at slotparadise.com. You can check it out, I'll leave it in the description. It outlines all the steps, and you can pause at any part of this video to learn what's happening. Now, as for a finale, we need to test if it actually works. So let me get, grab my phone, let me reboot this machine, and see if this minimal CentOS 7 bootable USB flash drive works. Now I'm rebooting my laptop, hit F12 to get into my boot options. My laptop uses F12 for boot options. I go to USB source device because that is the bootable USB flash drive. Now CentOS 7 opens immediately. I hit install CentOS 7 to show you guys that this actually works for creating a bootable USB flash drive. Now we're just going to wait a little while because even at this step, I've seen people come across a problem where all of this loading doesn't actually load properly and you get an error message. But I'll show you right now that with this method, you should be completely fine. CentOS 7 minimal should be mounted properly on the USB flash drive. So after waiting a couple seconds, the setup appears. So we know it's working and hopefully it works for you.